What a year we are having as Americans of Latino descent in this country. I must say to you, whether your name is Sonia Sotomayor, or Jose Hernandez, and if you know Jose, he was circling around the earth a few, a few thousand times probably on the shuttle, also talking about a number of important things as a son of immigrants who has been proud to make it all the way to the ranks of a scientist in this country and to fly on the shuttle as an American, a very proud American. But I mentioned Justice Sotomayor and I mentioned our scientist Jose Hernandez because that is what life holds for Americans of Latino descent in this country. And we owe a great deal of tribute to all those who worked very hard the way Sonia Sotomayor did when she was growing up, Jose Hernandez as the son of farm workers growing up, and I suspect many of us who are here in this room as well. Let me tell you that the Smithsonian has for several years now opened up its doors so that Latinos from throughout the country can come and celebrate National Hispanic Heritage Month. And we thank Eduardo Diaz and all those who made this possible, Secretary Wayne Club, who have made it possible for us to be in this fabulous building this evening, once again celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month here in Washington, D.C. I also want to pay tribute to our champion, our leader, and the woman who makes things happen every day, and that is the chair of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, Congresswoman Nidia Velasquez, who has been a tireless champion. Whether you're a small business owner, woman, whether you are someone looking for the first time to have a decent paying job, or if you're just someone who's looking for an opportunity to have that door open of opportunity, she has been there, and we are very proud in the Congressional Hispanic Caucus to have her be our leader. I must tell you, we're also very proud of the gentleman I'm about to introduce to you. I worked with him as a colleague as we tried to move legislation that created what we now have today as the commission to explore the possibility of here in Washington, D.C., establishing, just like this building here, the Museum of the American Latino for all of us to be able to appreciate the culture, the history, the art.